Hey, I didn't see you guys there. This is uh, Surviving Silver Bay Part 3, The Pay! Because I've been getting a lot of messages from you loyal subscribers. How much can you get paid working at Silver Bay? Well, long, easy answer, quick answer, it all depends. Depends on how much fish you get. You get paid by the hour, right? So, if you get a lot of fish, you're going to be working a lot. Fish equals work equals pay, I guess. Um, the more fish you get, the, uh, the, uh, the more fish you get, the more work you have, the more money you get. When the fish stop coming, your pay stops coming. It's that simple. Um, when I was there, we were getting 10 bucks an hour. Now I think they upped it to about 13, maybe 15 bucks an hour, depending on what you're doing, how much experience you have. Um, when I was there, the, the best check I've seen was about 1,800 bucks. That was for two weeks. Um, that was about 100 hours, maybe more, around there, about well, 16, 1,700 bucks. Um, but now you guys are probably gonna get a lot more. There's people from Knack Knack that I know that told me they're getting about they, the whole season. They made about eight thousand eighty seven hundred bucks, which is really really good if you can walk walk away with that much money. I mean, Knack Knack's is the Thunderdome, and you can't do anything in Knack Knack but work. There's no shops to go to. There's no stores. You're stuck, and that's it. So that's why they probably have more money, and um, they get paid more. Uh, now another thing is if you're not if you're not making enough money if it's a slow season where a lot of fish isn't coming you can make extra money towards the end of the season uh, a lot of people are going to ask you hey you want to stay for cleanup and you say yes because that's extra that's extra work you know cleanup will be about maybe a month three to four weeks of work and uh, now, if you stay for cleanup, it's going to be gnarly. You're only going to work about five hours a day, maybe. But it's every square, every inch of that plant has to be sanitized. Everything from the floors to the ceiling, uh, to the windows to the walls. <laughs> You're going to be pressure washing your, your ass off. You're going to be little scrubbers. You're going to scrub everything, uh, especially the blast freezers, the, the tunnel one and tunnel two. Now that's a negative 50 degree blast freezer when it's in operating, when it's when it's on, and when they turn it off in a day, it gets to be about maybe 80, 90 degrees and humid, and it stinks. It will knock a buzzard off a shit wagon. It's the most grossest smell you'll ever smell in your life, because in the freezer you're gonna drop a fish in the freezer and like, oh well, whatever, we'll just leave it there. Uh, the pet food would fall down, ah, eh, whatever, just leave it there. But it's frozen. You can't smell frozen fish, or you can't smell it a lot. <laughs> but when it thaws and it's trapped in a freaking freezer sealed shut with 80 degree weather that's 100% humidity, uh, you're going to smell it. You're going to have to take, you're going to have to pressure wash everything. You're going to take big squeegees, squeegee all the water into the pits, the gray pits, not the gray pit, but the, you'll know what I mean, the pits. Uh, you have to get a sump pump, suck all that nasty shit water out. Get buckets of soap and water, throw it on the walls, everywhere, scrub everything. It's good work. Or it's it's hours. It's extra money. You can make another, maybe, another 800 bucks a check every two weeks, 1600 a month. You can make about another, another probably two grand while you're there in, in that month. If you're not hitting the money that you want. Uh, again, like I said before, you're not going to... You're not going to be rich working for Silver Bay. If it's a good, you got to pray to the fish gods. And if you don't have a good work ethic, if, if you're always trying to get out, if you're constantly sick, if your back hurts, if you're just a crybaby that can't hack it, you're not going to get paid. I say this in every, every video you're there to make money. So you're there to also work your butt off. But that's how much you can get paid 15 bucks an hour. Now, you guys will probably get a whole hell of a lot more because they're not hiring the. Uh, the Polish people, the Eastern Europeans, and the foreigners. So they're just hiring a bunch of Americans. Uh, which is great, I guess. But So they pay us more. Pay you guys more. That's how much you're going to get paid. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, uh, Uncapped overtime? That means it's, it's, a, it's a will to work state. It's a right to work state. 
There's no taxes there. I mean, there's no state taxes there. There's federal tax, which takes about 25 to 27 percent of your check. The feds are going to get paid no matter what. But state of Alaska, they're not going to—they're not going to take taxes up. They also have no sales tax. So if something costs a dollar, it's going to cost you a dollar, not a dollar ten, like it is here in California. What else? It's pretty nice, you know. It, it's also, you know, I mean, it's also the experience to, to be, you know, to be in so sec, in a secluded area and work and meet all kinds of people from all walks of life uh, and to work together. Hey, 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 you're our, um, make your money, thirteen to fifteen bucks an hour. So if I was get, if I, if I was seeing about eighteen, fifteen to eighteen hundred dollar checks, you guys would probably see. Two grand a week, two grand every two weeks, about four grand a month. It's four, eight, twelve. If you're, if it's a really killer season, ah, maybe. Now that, mm, again, it depends on the fish, man. If it's a really good season, you could make that eight thousand dollar mark, nine, maybe even ten grand, because you guys are getting paid a lot more money. And if you stay for cleanup, you know, do that. Stay as long as you can. They're gonna fly you back home anyway. You know, and, and what the really good thing is, if you stay for cleanup, you got your own bunk room. You got your own room to yourself. I had my bunk room for two months by myself, and it was super nice. My own little, man, it was like my own little apartment. Free. I had everything set up. No one there to bother you. No roommates, no nothing. And I, I was there for cleanup. Again, you work about five hours, maybe six hours a day. The food's still there. There's a galley. There, there's constant food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and if you get hungry, there's you know there's little bagels and breakfast cereals and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, the galley's really nice. It's upstairs, very clean, like a big old cafeteria. So yeah, they have that. The galley, you know, good food. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool if you if you work by yourself. I mean, if you stay for cleanup to make extra money. You're kind of by, there's like maybe a handful of people there that are helping you scrub everything down, scrubbing the belt, scrubbing the knives. I mean, everything in that plant has to be sanitized. Not a single, nothing could be on the floor. No, there's no piece of your fish guts laying around. Everything has, I mean, it's particular, it's whatever that word is. It's really, you have to be really precise. I mean, and if you stay for cleanup, you can't half-ass it. You know what I mean? You have to stay, you have to really work. It's a attention to detail type of thing. But again, the money depends on the fish. If it's good season, bad season, um, you're getting paid a lot more, so you're going to be making a lot more money than I did when I was up there. Stay for cleanup. Stay for cleanup. That way, if you like it, you can come back next season, and they're going to say, hey, this guy stayed for cleanup. Let's hire him and maybe give him more money. Who knows? So about... When when in the when when the season kicks off, you can see about two thousand dollar checks if you're doing sixteen to eighteen hour days. Uh, hope this video helps. I gotta get on the road. And as always, take it easy.